the European Parliament, I listened often, very often, to the speeches of the Internal Market Commissioner Charlie McGreevy, Irish Commissioner, the message of uh, this man, former Finance Minister of Ireland, by the way, one of the most bankrupt states in the European Union, the co Irish Commissioner Charlie McGreevy, former Minister of Finance of the country, told to me and to us, look your old-fashioned uh, 19th century thinking, social welfare, social justice, coherence in the society. That's over. That's finished. In the 21st century, the decisive element is who is the quickest one on the international markets without any tools. And the financial markets, not industrial production, not services. No. The free floating capital on the international speculation markets without any rule gives us such high amount of benefits that we have enough money to distribute it to the people. But before we distribute it to the people, we must let float the capital worldwide. And please don't install, introduce rules because rules will only lead that those who have money but who can play with the money on the internet, international uh, stock exchanges go to Singapore or to Hong Kong or to New York. But they will leave from Europe, they will leave from London, they will leave from Frankfurt, and then you have nothing. So, no rules. I put the question to him, is it necessary to speculate with everything on every place, wherever in the world? Why, for example, is it necessary to speculate on increasing prices of food? I repeat my question. I put the question in the European Parliament. Is there somebody in this house who can tell me to which extent it is useful to speculate that in a foreseeable time, let's say in three years' time, three months' time, three weeks' time, food prices worldwide will increase about, let's say, 25%. Those who put their money on a bid that in three weeks' time food prices will arise about 25%, must, high an interest, have, must have an interest that the food prices will increase, because otherwise they have no benefit. But how food prices can increase? By reduction of available food. If there is less food, the prices <coughs> increase. Less food for us, even in your country, is not a problem. Okay, prices will be higher. In my country, in Germany, if you're in the supermarket for milk, pay 50 cents, euro cents, or 60 euro cents. That makes, at the end, no difference. For the Americans, for the Europeans, it's no problem. But for people in Asia, or for people in Africa, or in Latin America, less available food is a problem. The problem has a name, hunger. But if the benefit of one side of this world is the hunger of the other side of this world, I think that's an immoral system. So my question was to which extent we should have no rules on the international markets. Why we have to allow that everybody can speculate with whatever, wherever in the world. We allowed such a speculation. The result is no. We allowed also the speculation on real estate. In this country, a well-known problem. In Ireland, a well-known problem. Banks 
went all over and told to people, we give you every credit. And they needed to loan out the credits because with the amount of the credits given out, they speculated on the international markets. The result, not necessary I think to explain to you, is very known. A lot of people made a lot of money, but the overwhelming majority of other people pays today the price for such benefits by losing their houses, by losing their jobs, by losing their apartments, by becoming poor. In the meantime, some, not so much people, became super rich. That's not the balance we need. Therefore, to introduce rules, to introduce regulations, and to introduce elements to survive and to observe markets is one of, in my eyes, necessary answers to the challenges in the first decade of in the second decade of the 21st century. That's one of our programs in the European Parliament. We want more rules on the markets. We want more control of the so-called financial products offered on the markets. That's one of the answers. On a concrete, existing, real economic crisis in Europe. 